What's up guys, J-Dog here of Hell's Headbangers again, and got another video for you. In today's video, what I decided to uh, discuss is, in my opinion, the greatest extreme black metal album ever. So uh, I did a video, uh, it's not up yet, but by the time you see this video, it should be up. What did I do? Uh, best, yeah, greatest death metal demo of all time. And I believe I gave a disclaimer on that one too, that... Uh, it's not going by any fucking stats or who came first or who's got the most sales or who influenced those bands or who's on the longest. It's not a dick measuring contest. When I uh, do the uh, videos on this channel, it's just my personal opinion and what I feel to me is my favorite. So that's the what I consider the greatest. So if you don't happen to agree, that's fucking fine. Don't give a shit. You can uh, leave in the comments what you think of the greatest is. But we're talking extreme black metal this time, so I wouldn't count like for example, like Bathory and stuff, that's more like classic Bathory, classic uh, black model, in my opinion. But extreme black model, when I say that, it's more like the uh, really fast, like, you know, uh, blast and drums and just, uh, you know, the no keyboards and shit like that. You know, the more extreme, like, brutal black model, for lack of better words. And my personal favorite of all time, kind of like uh, I said with the... Uh, with the uh, death metal demo, the putrefaction is like it's. I never like it's. It's hard to pinpoint, but I mean, it just seems like any time that the conversation comes up, that this one's the one that always pops in my mind first. So I said, "Fuck it, you know what? It's always the one that pops in my mind first, so I'm going to choose it." And the one that I chose is, of course, I always show you my actual physical copies because I own them and everything that. If I, I'm telling you the best, I definitely own it. I brought everything that every version I own of this particular album. And it is Marduk, Panzer Division Marduk. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite album by them. And uh, I like, I liked, uh, I kind of stopped paying attention to Marduk, to be honest with you, after Legion left the band. Um, so the last album that I really enjoyed was um, uh, World Funeral. That was the last time he was on. I believe that was in 2003. And I think that album's fucking great. And after that, I'll be honest, I don't really know too much stuff after that. I actually, I have gone back and listened to some of them when they came out. Uh, I listened to Plague Angel, actually, uh, semi-recently. And uh, I was like, oh, this is, this is pretty good. It's just, you know, it's kind of like, they're just listening to, you know, 20 years or whatever uh, later. It's like, yeah, you know, I still prefer the oldies that I like. But, because uh, even the ones without Legion, like Dark Endless and those of the Unlight, Opus Nocturne, I love those fucking records. So, basically... Last, last Legion album, Down, is all my favorite shit. But Panzer Division is definitely my favorite album. There's the back side of the cover of the LP. This particular one, I actually didn't have uh, Panzer Division Marduk on vinyl for years. Uh, I got it uh, as a um, uh, Osmos uh, reissued it. That was one that I was actually missing. Because I actually have a lot of original LPs of Marduk. But my favorite one, I didn't. I just had them on CDs, and I'll show you those in a minute, which pressings I have. I have two different uh, versions. Um, this particular one that I got, as you guys all know, may or may not know by now. If you don't, you'll start to notice a trend of this channel, because I really like color vinyl. Um, if I can get over black, I'll, I'll do it. It's, it's kind of cool, like kind of like collecting baseball cards, I guess, in a sense. Um, and, and you get the music at the same time, so it's kind of cool, as opposed to this black record you knew, you know, if everything came on black vinyl prior to fucking color vinyl, right? This one's a white vinyl. And uh, Hell's had these in stock when this came out. That, you know, I think it was this year or last year when this, uh, this pressing just came out. They sold out right away. So apparently people think it's as good as I do um, based off the uh, sales. But have no fear because if you watch this video soon enough, Hell's just recently got a week or so ago a repress, which I picked that up too because I'm a different color vinyl. Same cover. Same everything, you know, same backside. The only difference is it's on clear vinyl. And this one I picked up for myself too, because if it's like a, one of my all time favorite records, as we are fucking discussing that it is, um, if it's one of my all time favorite records, I'll pick up multiple colors. I'll like try to collect as many colors as I can. I mean, I don't like go way, way out of my way to get every damn color for stuff, but if I see one and if it especially comes to the shop, I'll definitely pick it up. Um, uh, because you know, like it's like one of my all time favorite records. So, why the fuck not? You know? And then uh, CD versions. The one I've always had since I was a teenager is the nice, uh, how they sell it back in the day, Osmos, the Shield Digipack. He had that actual, a, actual like a badge on the, you know what I mean? Like a fucking like glued onto the Digipack. Pretty fucking sweet. It's nice and heavy. 
I think they only did a thousand of these back in the day, but this is the version I grew up on a kid always having. Inside. Yeah, and then the inside just comes with the uh, booklet, you know, with all the, uh, you know, well, you know, booklet, 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 booklet. And if you don't, go out and fucking get your version and you know, take my verse. It's like that. So um, that's the version that I grew up having. And then a few years later, we got something, especially since I didn't, have this, uh, I didn't want to always open this up and it was kind of like a collectible item. I got a jewel case version. I don't even remember when the fuck I got this. I probably got this through Hell's. I semi remember these coming in. I don't even know uh, what label put this one. Uh, uh, says license from Osmos. It's on uh, some Brazilian label, actually. Uh, but it's just got the Panzer of Marduk and it's got bonus tracks of the Fuck Me Jesus mini CD, it says. But, um, just for convenience, it was different pressing. Of, like, like I said, my favorite black metal album of all time. I uh, picked it up. Why the fuck's it got like two goddamn. What the fuck? Oh, oh it's just kind of. Not more and more. I was say, what the hell is this? Like, got two different booklets in there. I've never seen that before. But, no, the last just pulled out many times. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have on those. And it's funny. Uh, the I've only seen Marduk live actually once. And when I did, that was in. Uh, for the uh, La Grande Dance Macabre album. And I pulled that aside, too, for you guys. Just kind of like a little bit of a story time when we're talking about fucking Marduk. Is uh, that was the tour I saw them on. And I think that was in 2001. Because, you know, it's a trend. A lot of 2000s and 2001s. Like I said, I was show, it seemed like I was going to show every goddamn weekend back then. It seemed like in Cleveland, there were shows all the time and all, tons of good shit looking back. Uh, but anyways, here's the... Uh, Legrand, which I owned prior to the show. This was the new album at the time, which I I, I think this fucking album is great too. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't like it as much as um, Panzer Division, but it's I think it's very very good. Like not, it's close. And I had all the guys sign it: Legion, B War, Frederick. Um, so I don't think uh, three out of four guys I met. Was it for four, four guys on this record? I'm pretty sure there was four guys. One memory serves. Yeah. Morgan. Yeah, I don't know if I met Morgan. I got a couple photos. Yeah, I think I just met three of the guys. Three out of four. So that's a bummer. So I got my picture with them. And uh, But here's the backside of the LP. This is, so this LP came out by uh, 2000, I would say then. Uh, is when I get this came out. And I uh, regained records. So this is an original... I was, you know, just regular lame old black vinyl. Um, but yeah, have this. I've had this record for came out in two thousand. I got it then, so twenty going on to going to be twenty two years now, and definitely so glad to own that. But that's the uh, I brought that. I actually brought a few other things from the sign, a few CDs, but I forgot to show that one because uh, that was the album I toured for. Uh, like I brought some of my picture discs, like uh, I remember the Obedience twelve inch picture disc. Had them sign that. And uh, I think the uh, Infernal Eternal double live CD, I think it made a I had them sign that. Maybe I bought that there, actually. I think they were selling it there, and I had them sign that. And then I got my picture with them. Here's a uh, look at that fucking pip squeak in the middle. There's uh, Frederick and Legion. Cool photo, huh? Old as fuck. And it's funny because uh, I kind of thought they were going to be like super standoff or something. Legion was actually overly cool. Like super fucking cool guy, super friendly. I thought he was going to be like this fucking just, you know, satanic guy. Oh, don't talk to me. I'm a tough guy. And it was not like that at all. Fred would kind of had that vibe. But I don't know if it was an English barrier. He was just kind of shy or what. I mean, look, this goddamn guy looks like fucking Shaquille O'Neal. Look at that motherfucker towering over me. I ain't that guy. I'm not the tallest guy around the fuck. I'm not that short. Uh, so he, uh, he didn't have much to say. So he's a little standoffish. Uh, and I believe this is what, uh, Photo at the time, looking back, was it? That's either Morgan or B War. You guys tell me. I don't even fucking remember. They're all covered up with makeup on stage. So then, when I caught so all of them before, that's actually yeah, me, Chase, and Eric. And uh, so it's one of them. I can't even remember which because uh, based off the makeup and the covered and well, fuck me, it was twenty two goddamn years ago. So uh, yeah, it was really cool. I uh, mean, and, and he he didn't have much to say either. Uh, I, I don't remember. I, nothing stood out as far as him. I think it was just, "Hey, bro, can I get my uh, shit signed and and get a picture with you?" Just yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like much interaction. To remember, but uh, nonetheless, in the show itself, they opened up for Deicide, and it was I'm pretty sure it was 2000. It was right around Mother's Day weekend, and uh, I, why I remember that is because there's a long backstory behind that. Why I remember that uh, weekend date. Uh, somebody couldn't make it to the show based off. 
on that actual weekend. Uh, but I'm almost positive it was 2000 and definitely was opening up for Dia side on the uh, not so great, but uh, I, I kind of dig it, but it's a very half ass album. Uh, Incinerate them album. They were touring for that. And uh, that's actually pff, another one of my favorite shows I ever went to. Marduk was fucking awesome. I said the only time I've ever seen them, uh, tons of energy, looked super fucking cool on stage, um, super intense. Uh, everything, the set list was awesome. Uh, every, everything was just fucking really good. And then DSI went up and that was the first time I saw them and I thoroughly enjoyed them too. So it was a great fucking show. And, but like I said, that was for, so two albums after the well, one album after, so I believe, yeah, La Grande is the next album right after it was Panzer Division, then La Grande, you know, and then World Funeral. But all that eras I love, but if I had to pick a favorite, like I said, greatest extreme black model album ever, one that always pops to my mind is, uh, yeah, fucking, uh, is a good old Panzer Division Marduk. I think it's just not only is it uh, beginning and end, just extremes. Like and all the, all the songs to me sound the same. Like they all, I can distinct them all apart and uh, just just everything, everything. They don't like blur together a lot of songs. As opposed to a lot of stuff, some stuff that's super extreme. It's like this just all blurring together. It all shit all sounds the fucking same to me. But for whatever reason, that one don't. And uh, if you think different, if you're like, what the fuck, that shit all sounds the same, Jade, all your full of shit. Yeah, well that's fine. Put that in the fucking comments. Tell me it sucks ass. And then I'm wrong, and that fucking uh, Cradle feels better, or whatever the hell you think. Uh, that's fine. Put in the comments. So, yeah, that's my pick for uh, Greatest Extreme Metal. Extre God, why? Why the fuck can't I say that right? Greatest Extreme Black Metal Albums Ever. And let me know your opinions in the comments, which ones you think are, because fuck, maybe it's one that I never even heard, and I'm like, I gotta go listen to these goddamn things. I don't even know it. Um, or it'll give a uh, spike in interest of another one I've, that I know of that I love, I love myself. So yeah, put that in the comments. And in case you haven't noticed, I changed the goddamn camera angle. Let's see if this one looks any fucking better. Got to pick, so let's get a partial of the picture of this wall. Um, and the light don't seem as bright. So maybe I'll move it around in different areas of my, uh, like I said, it's my home office uh, collection uh, room. So trying to get the best uh, lighting with this shit-ass fucking camera that, uh, you know, I know is not the greatest, but it's what we got. It's what we're going to get. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.